Today I am taking you to one of my favorite restaurants. It's called Ocean Crawfish. I go there all the time. It is so good. When I think of Ocean Crawfish, I think of like Vietnamese street food. Um, they have a bunch of different seafoods, including snails, which a lot of Vietnamese restaurants do not serve snails. So when you see snails on the menu, that's how you know that, okay, this is OG. So let's go together. So one of the entrees that we got was the grilled finger snails with green onion butter. We got sweet snail with garlic, roasted chicken feet with salt and chili, house special fried rice, two pounds of crawfish, house special and spicy. It smells so good. I cannot wait to just take a bite. Hmm. Oh my gosh. It's so like just fried perfectly. It has that nice little salty taste to it and the chilies mm, are so good. It's kind of hard to eat, especially like when you're out in public because there's not really a lot of meat on it, but it's so worth it. So all the stuff right here that they put chilies, garlic, onions. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Okay. So I got some fried rice here and I'm just so excited. You know how sometimes like you're so excited to eat, you start shaking. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> I'm about to start shaking. The rice, like it's so simple, honestly. Like nothing complex about this fried rice, but it is delicious. Like just the flavors of it and then how like they put fish eggs in it. It really makes the fried rice pop. And then the rice, how they cooked it back there. I feel like it had to have been like a Vietnamese grandma that cooked the rice because, because she put just the right amount of water because cooking rice is honestly like a specialty like it's really difficult to make it like just perfect but sometimes it can come out soggy sometimes it can be watery and just nasty or sometimes just too dry but the way that they cook the rice is so good let's try the finger snail the texture is nice and chewy and then on top they put like some fried like onion or something and then a little bit of sriracha sauce and then also they put like um, some grilled green onions gosh the flavors was just looks like on ratatouille whenever it was what's the what's the rat's name on ratatouille is it roomy i think roomy i don't know but the main character when him and his brother were up in the roof <laughs> it was like that because all the combinations were just amazing y'all like wow I felt like the critic on Ratatouille though, like how whenever he had the Ratatouille at the end and like he dropped the pin on the ground, I felt like that because this like brought me back to Vietnam. We're gonna try the sweet snail with garlic. They put, I don't know what this is. Let me try it. On top, it tastes like fried pork. All the gunk they put on top, I could call it just drink it. <laughs> is that good? It's so good. Nice garlicky. Anything with butter and garlic is just good. This is like a heart attack in a shell, but it's, it's a good heart attack. It was not fishy, nice and chewy, and the flavors are incredible. It'll make you want some crawfish, but good thing I have some. I got two pounds of crawfish right here. So let's go on to the crawfish. But oh my gosh, the outside has so much flavor garlicky mm. it has a nice tang to it too i think they put like some orange or oranges yeah Ooh, and they did 
I don't know, oranges or lemons or something, but I like that thing. Oh, I just saw my husband. He's licking all up on that crawfish. <laughs> I shouldn't have looked that way. I should have just looked at you guys, but I turned for a second and he was all up on that crawfish. So that's how you know it's good. So right now, obviously it's not crawfish season, but somehow they have crawfish. So they must have some sort of connection. I'm telling you, these, this, this restaurant is like the original gangster of gangsters from Vietnam. So they can, they can find crawfish, you know, even during, <laughs> during off peak season. And let me try it. You know, it tastes almost fresh. It's not like fresh, fresh, but it's not like frozen either, you know? It has a nice texture to it, just nice and bouncy. And if you don't really eat crawfish a lot, you would probably think that it's live. It's like garlic butter, but then it has that hint of like sweetness and also like the tang from like the lemons. I really like it. And for not being crawfish season right now, like their crawfish is pretty big too. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys actually. They have this sauce here. And <clears throat> I always come here because it's like one of my favorite restaurants. And every time I come here, I would always get the sauce. Like I thought like you could only get this sauce here at this restaurant. And I would always want to come here. Like some, I think one time I came here just for the sauce. Like I came and ordered like the sauce. But anyway, and then come to find out that you can actually buy this sauce at any like Asian market. It's so good. It is like nice, tangy and sweet. I've never had a sauce like this ever before. So many good options here. I'm going back to the chicken feet though. This chicken feet, when you come here, don't be shy. Just grab the feet, put some of that chili and garlic on top, and dig in. So if you've never had chicken feet before, um, it tastes like chicken. No, it doesn't <laughs> because it's just like just the feet of the chicken. So um, it just takes the skin, but they fry it so nicely. So it has like that nice crunch to it. And then if you like tendon, the tendon here on this chicken feet is really good. Just nice and crunchy. But I think what really makes the chicken feet here is how they put all the flavors together. Because I'm telling you the chilies, the garlic, the oil, the butter, all that mixture like is amazing. Not to die for, I don't want to say that because I don't want to die for it but it's, it's really good. If you're not that adventurous, like you're like, oh, I can't eat chicken feet. You just don't wanna look at the toenails. Okay, that's fine, I get it. But um, come here, cause they have fried rice and they have other things that you can eat if you're not like an adventurous eater. Um, they have like at least like 300 items on their menu. So I'm sure you can find something that you will like. Everything that they put on here, like the garlic, the fried pork, the chilies, I feel like, I don't know, <laughs> it's just so good. You gotta come here and check it out for yourself. I like coming here with my husband because he only eats until he gets satisfied. I eat until I'm gonna throw up. So that means that there's more food for me. <laughs> so he's done now, so I get to finish the rest. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna finish this up and meet me afterwards. That restaurant slaps, y'all. It just slaps. It will slap you in the face, slap your mama, your grandma, your dead grandma. Like it'll slap everybody in the face because it is so freaking good. So yeah, they have so many different items on their menu. Like I haven't even tried out like everything on their menu yet because they just have so many. I swear it's like 300 plus items. And I usually just tend to get the same thing over and over and over again. But yeah, so I'm sure you'll find something that you will like on their menu. Go check them out. I feel like they need to be on the news because they're that good. Mm -hmm.